All right, welcome back to another Sledgehammer Tie-Dyes episode. Uh, today we're going to be doing a wig wag. Um, I had a request from a, a friend at work if I could make one for him. And he's a pretty tall dude, so he gave me a very long shirt, as you can see most of it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start off by drawing those arches out. Oops, well, okay, well, we'll ignore this one because I didn't put it at the same place. But we'll just go off of that guy, no worries. All right, so this is a very thin shirt, so I should be able to get some pretty compact, uh, compact pleats in here. But I don't want it to go too small. All right, time to clean it up a little bit. All right, let's tie the sucker up. So I'm gonna be using kite string just to hold it in place. All right, so that's that tied up. So let's put some dye on it. But wait, I'm actually gonna try something different with this one. Um, and it would also help if I drew out my lines. All right, so I'm gonna start it right there. And I'm gonna go every two inches. And then on the other side, I'm gonna offset that by an inch and then go every two inches. All right, so for the first one, I'm just gonna freehand it. Just a little arch to the center point. And I'm actually gonna start right about right there. So this one, I'm not going all the way out to the edges. I'm just kind of keeping it sort of towards the middle. So it'll be more of a two-tone shirt. But here's where I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to use that line there. And then I'm going to come out to this next here. I'm going to draw another line right across. And then I'm going to start again over here. So now we're ready to throw some dye on this. All right, so we're ready to put some dye on it, but real quick, before we get going, I almost forgot to do something fairly important. So for this section here, I did come back in with more kite string and I did tighten it down pretty good. I wanna kind of isolate this section uh, I'm going to be putting sky blue on the bottom half of the shirt and brushed steel on the top. But for this section, I'm going to invert the colors and kind of do a little bit of a gradient between them. And hopefully it'll uh, give a circle in the middle of the wigwag. Never done it, but let's try it. All right, so for this little section here, I'm gonna start with the gray at the bottom and the blue at the top. And hopefully that'll work. I don't know if it will or not, but who knows? Don't know till you try. All right, so I had to move it over to uh, 
this taller, bigger setup because this thing is too long to fit on just one rack. Uh, but yeah, so now that we've got all the dye on it, let's throw some soda ash down. Ooh, that's chunky. And I have a bit of cardboard put together for a barrier. I just haven't really fitted it exactly just yet. And just to make sure that that doesn't come undone, I'm going to come around the outside with tape. All right, and a couple of forceps to hold this thing closer to the shirt. All right, so that's that. Now we just got to wait. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours. Let's rinse this guy out and see what we get. All right, so this is what we got. Let's throw it in the wash and see how it comes out. All right, well, here it is out of the dryer. Uh, looks pretty cool. It didn't exactly work too well as a wigwag per se. Uh, at least it doesn't really come across as very defined. Um, I think part of that is the color that I chose, specifically the, uh, the brush steel. Uh, it, it just kind of broke a little bit instead of giving a, a more full saturation like the blue. I think if it... it fully saturated out like the blue then it would have definitely been more defined because you can see where it's going it just has a lot of negative space in between it which still looks cool um just i don't know if this is necessarily a wigwag at this point uh the circle came out really well i do like how it fades from the uh the darker gray and then in the blue and then up to blue in the the gray bits so while it might not be exactly what I was aiming for, it's still really cool. And I hope my friend will like it. Uh, he's pretty easy going, so I'm sure he'll be uh, stoked either way. Uh, but yeah, if you liked it, give it a like. Uh, uh, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. But for now, Sledgehammer Tie-Dyes. Out.